You know I won't accept your resignation, don't you? Gerald is not making the decisions anymore about my son. Layla. Listen, they have been very unfair to you, I know. Your money will be returned to you as well. I am very embarrassed and truly sorry that this happened. Mr. Mason, you can't just leave me alone like this. I know I can't force you to do anything, but I desperately need your help. Please help me. Please. Well? You're not going to go off like that by yourself ever again. If something's wrong, you tell me first. If I'm not listening, you shout at me. You make me listen, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, I'll promise I'll do that. Thank you, Mr. Mason. Did you tell the police everything? Yes, everything I could think of. Did you see the men's faces by any chance? Not all of them, I'm afraid. One of them was named Aldo. I only heard his voice. I never saw his face. Oh, and there was also that man, Ethan, the guy they caught. There was the guy I identified and the one who died. Did you remember something else? The guy who died. I think that he was the brother of the guy who was running everything. Layla, are you sure about this? I'm not sure, but it's something I deduced from listening to their conversations. Does this help us somehow? Well, uh, if he's identified, that will give us the identity of the other one, too. I mean, their names, their addresses, their relatives. Hello. Ah, hello, my boy. Uh, I wasn't able to call you guys before. I was busy, though. Sorry about that. I can't tell you right now. Look, son, I told your mother this before. Oh, my God, it's not some tiny amount you can just hand over like that. Speak to me properly. You were the only one who hadn't tried to speak to me like that. Oh, sure, everyone else is right, and I'm the only one who's ever wrong. Isn't that right? Don't go on about it. I'll come home if I can. Goodbye. What's up? It's just my son. I haven't paid much attention to them lately, and now they're worried sick. Any news? Well, I left word in all the right places. You know, I called everyone I knew who needed to be called, but no news as of yet, which means nothing. But it won't take much longer, you know. It's just a matter of time. He has to go to one of them without a doubt sooner or later. Ethan. Yes, my boy. Don't abandon me halfway through this. What a thing to say, my friend. <laughs> would I ever abandon you, Aldo, boy? Hmm? Who else would I go through all this for? Private number. What is it that you couldn't talk to me about on the phone? Come inside. Did you speak to Layla? I did. And what happened? Mason, what happened? Why don't you have a seat? Well, Aaron. Aaron. You can't stay here anymore. Um, okay then. I'll go home this evening. We had the door fixed anyway, remember? I mean, all right. I won't stay anywhere that I'm not wanted anyway. I understand how it is. Well, you're not wanted? How is that even possible? 
In fact, you really want it. And that's not the issue. The reason I'm saying you can't stay here... Aaron, I... I can't endanger your life anymore. While I was talking to Layla, she remembered a very important detail from when she was captured. What's the detail? Well, you know, you know, the young man that I shot, he's, he's the brother of that Aldo who's running the whole kidnapping enterprise. <clears throat> That's what she said. Isn't this a good clue, Mason? It is, it is, yeah. It's a good clue. But at the same time, though, it's very bad news. And why is that? Because if he really is the boy's brother, as she said, then right now, I'm Aldo's greatest enemy and a target. Are you afraid, then? I'm afraid for the people around me. 